first turtle on trail. See ya. All right, back on trail. Lost a bunch of weight. Hopefully, I got rid of my Garmin too. So hopefully, we don't get a a dead battery or a broken phone or anything. Here, the blue blaze. Shelly's trying to compose herself. Love you. Bye. She can't hear me. It's okay. All right. So that was fun. So we got about um, three days to the next hostel. So that's where I'm going to go resupply at. Got my new outdoor research sun hoodie, which is way thinner than the Jolly Gear. So, oh, so I'll be able to be okay in these... Uh, 90 degree days that we're having I lost probably three pounds out of my pack I got rid of my earth sack and just went with the seal line bag uh, I got rid of my Garmin my tripod uh, my bivy Whew, geez I am just slipping everywhere and a few other things. So it was some significant weight, two, two and a half pounds. I, I said three, but maybe about two and a half, but still, it's all a day's worth of food. Um, all right. Man, there are some dogs just barking. All right. Um, we took uh, Sparkles and Mo Rain to Interstate 15 and just dropped them off right on the highway. That was crazy, but they did get picked up and uh, they went to Gettysburg or something like that. So pretty crazy um, that we did that. And then we went to REI that same day and nothing. They didn't have anything. They didn't have the lock sacks. So it's pretty disappointed taking that drive. I should have called. Make sure you call before you take big drives like that. It's my uh, tip of the day. If you're gonna drive an hour to a place that you think they have the gear you want, maybe call them first. All right, and I am going toward the barking dogs. Great, I will keep you informed. Next 10 miles of treadway maintained by the Mountain Club of Maryland. Well, I thank you guys for that. All right. On trail again. And out of the forest to a uh, beautiful pasture. Got some guys working on a roof out there. That's got to be tough. But that's the roofer's life. Always working in the sun. Yeah, beautiful out here today. Probably 85 plus out, so coming out of the forest is, I don't know, it's hot. <laughs> I'm going to have to put some sunscreen on. What an odd thing to see on trail. Um, at first I kind of thought it was a car, but it's not. It's got a, just a... Uh, um, something for a tractor, maybe, like a bolt-on piece. Interesting. See it way out here. Um, hmm. very cool. Just coming through this section. Wow, super cool. If I was dirty, I would be in this thing right now. But I just got it back on trail. It's like normal. Seems like such so such a platinum blazer. Never dirty out here, it seems like. So, but I guarantee there's uh, some people who really took advantage of this. Being out in the heat for so long, and uh, there's a lot of uh, wildlife in it, so you know it's good water. There's things uh, swimming around in it.
but yeah what a cool little spot here what a cool section that we're coming through here rocks just everywhere still not sure that's the hc i'm gonna have to check out and see what this blue blaze is all right so the blue blaze is a view so let's uh walk up by these rocks here and go take a look did i get these rocks in there Get the brain in there. Brains. Really enjoying the rocks, these uh, more than the overviews anymore. But we got some cool overviews too. All right, back on trail. I gotta come down this blue blaze to get water. It's kind of a ways down here. There's lots of bugs too, for some reason. Um, hopefully it's a good uh, flow. Hopefully it's worth it. And the next uh, water source is nine miles away. Ouch. But I'm pretty sure there's more than that. But uh, this is the one that's, you know, the, that's marked. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to go another ten miles without water. So I'm going to drink some here. Drink what I have left in my bottle and then fill up my bottles. Another one of these uh, tatted up trees. It's pretty neat. Poor little thing. Huh. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, probably 13 miles for the day left. I'm getting a headache too, weird. I went down to the spring and then I came back up from it and just started getting a headache. I don't understand it. So maybe it was like some elevation gain and loss that uh, created some pressure somewhere. Or, yeah, kind of weird. Um, but I'm gonna do some stretches here and kind of work through it. All right, let's go check out this high rock overlook. Point two there, point two back. Well, the locals definitely have fun out here, don't they? No alcoholic beverages. Spray paint everywhere. Oh my goodness, they just trash the shit out of this place, don't they? Kind of unfortunate. It's such a nice place. Nobody wants to keep it clean. But, very cool. It almost looks like uh, Las. What is that city in Vegas? How you doing? Great. How you doing? Not too bad. What a cool place to be, huh? Oh, it's amazing. Hey, let me show you something. it up forever. Super cool. Take a break here. Oh, there's like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's incredible. This section of trail is kind of confusing. There's just dead trees down everywhere. Oh, goodness. And then like... See, like a bunch of dead stuff. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yeah. 
some of these tarp and sleeping bags over there. Oh, goodness. Well, at least you come out here, you have a place to sleep. Pretty sure it's this way. But the trail definitely makes it seem like it's not this way. <laughs> it's all blocked off and everything. It's kind of weird. But uh, this would be a, definitely a cool place to come out at night. You would think you were lost. But it's really the trail. Then who knows what kind of riffraff is out here too. Scary. All right, I gotta double check my maps here. All right, made it to the park here. Let's check out this overlook. Oh. It looks similar to the other one. Where is this at? Very cool. Way higher on the rock. Yeah. All right, so this is a uh, Penmar Park. It's supposed to have water somewhere over here. Let's go try to find it. Uh, the AT sort of runs right through it. There's an AT marker right there. And I'm pretty sure it goes this way. That place trail name 1080 left. Well, we're going that way. I think they said that there's water over here though. Let's go see. All right. We're, I think uh, this means we're uh, out of Maryland going into Pennsylvania. Awesome. Um, keep it up. You can sign in. I'm not gonna. So. Super cool. Into Pennsylvania. Send a uh, picture to my wife so she can see it. AT North Mount, AT South. Yeah. Whew. All right. It's leaving camp about eight o'clock in the morning. It's beautiful out this morning. Hopefully it uh, stays that way. It doesn't get too hot. Um, so, Shelly did the whole 12 hours yesterday to get home. Come on, but whatever. She wanted to get home, so she could sleep in her own bed. But um, yeah, other than that, um, I got 23 miles on the books today. There are campsites right at like the 20 mark, so. I don't want to walk another hour or hour and a half. I can stop. But so far the trail is looking pretty nice. Hopefully it stays that way. Man, if I would have just pushed another mile and a half yesterday, this could have been my campsite. Oh well. I didn't know how easy the train was after that. And it was getting late, so that's just how it rolls. Some signs for trail magic. Let's see, is there really trail magic up here? There really is trail magic up here. It's looking like it. How you doing? Are you the really trail magic? Is it real? All right, sitting so out here at Chimney Rock. I think it's this one. But uh, yeah. Just a lush, thick forest. And then you get this uh, lake in the middle there. Let's go jump in it. Very cool. Going through this rocky section, and there's looks like there's just a stack of rocks up there. So look at that. <laughs> so nuts. 
way things look out here. I gotta get up these rocks though. And there's this huge tree, it's dead though. Look at the space of that. Oh, there's a big hole inside of it. Um, it doesn't look that big on video, but it's pretty big. The other side perspective here, kind of crazy. The AT marker goes right into it. Pretty neat. See how uh, what it is. This is what it's all about. It's like I'm the only one here. It is two o'clock in the afternoon too, so it's all very nice. So I'll leave my pack up. All right, black diamonds most difficult, but we got Slugger here to get us up there and motivate us. Oh, it's so hard. Woo! Let's go. One of the nicest uh, shelters on the AT. We made it here. Cover your faces. Spring. I met the guy who maintained this today. He was pretty cool. Cowboy or raisin? Uh.